Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on ABC 10 News Now. I'm Caitlin Conant. The Kayleigh Batchelor murder trial is winding down, and for more on the trial, we bring in ABC 10 News Director Jerry Taylor, who has been following the trial for almost a week now. JT? Thank you very much, Caitlin, and good evening to everyone. After five days of witness testimony and more than 150 pieces of evidence, both the prosecution and the defense rested today in the first-degree murder trial of Kayleigh Batchelor. Detective Sergeant Anthony LaPlante began the day on the stand. He testified that Batchelor's story about what happened to his wife, Heather, on September 3rd, 2014, changed five times since he was arrested. The prosecution showed the jury physical evidence from the crime scene, including the knife that was found in Heather's throat. John Weiss, a pathologist with 37 years of experience, performed Heather's autopsy. In his opinion, Weiss determined Heather's death to be a homicide. Because of my experience uh, in the field, the gross appearance of the trauma and the fact that it would be extremely difficult to do this on a self-inflicted basis, really extremely unlikely, uh, I came to the conclusion that it was most likely homicide. And we will have much more on today's court proceedings tonight at 11 right here on ABC 10 News Now. Well, thanks, JT. Um, I do have a question, though, for you. What can we expect now? What's going to happen next? Well, with the prosecution and defense both resting today, next thing on the agenda is going to be uh, closing arguments from both the prosecution and the defense. That'll happen first thing tomorrow morning at 8, uh, 8 a.m. And then um, from there, the judge uh, will give instruction to the jury on what they can and cannot do. There are a lot of rules that are involved, obviously, with a case this high profile and this big. So they'll have to go take those their those instructions with with themselves back to the jury room now this is where it gets interesting the jury could take two minutes they could take two hours they could take two days to deliberate there's no time period they could stay past the 4 p.m deadline in most cases in court they could keep the court open for hours if they want to who knows how long it's going to take because this 13 people eight men and five women like i said they could take their time and do this and so tomorrow if there's a verdict We'll have it for you right here at 5.30 on ABC 10. And does that have to be a unanimous decision? It does. It does. 13 people. Now, if it's not unanimous and they're hung, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But, you know, we're expecting, a, you know, a, a decision either way. Remember, with first-degree murder, the big thing is you have to prove that there was intent and it was premeditated. That's the big thing that makes it first-degree murder more than anything else. You must prove intent. Okay. Very good. We look forward to hearing more about that. Thanks so much, Caitlin.